what's up welcome back guys you are tuned in to zen in the void okay let's just hop right into y'all messages because i was supposed to get y'all some messages out yesterday the day before and i didn't do it but it's okay i've been like kind of putting myself first and that kind of took me off of my youtube schedule i'm sure you guys can understand and understand that Every time I go pick up these cards, I just see the Abundance card all sexy and green, okay? And I just know that that's the universe confirming to me and y'all that um, Abundance is here. It's on the way. I want to say it's on the way, but time is an illusion. It's here already. And all of you guys that are manifesting, you already know that you have to know that you have it already and not think that, like, oh, you have to get it. You got it already, right? That's the energy. All right, let's see. Help almost came out. Nature. We all need to accept help, be helpful. Yeah, help keeps trying to come out, so I'm going to take it. Let me get one more. One more, please. Two. If y'all hear a noise in the background, I gave Coco a steak bone, so she's like, eating on it. Positivity almost came out. I saw one, two, three, by the way. All right. Okay. That's fire. All right. So the focused energy that we're going to start on for y'all is nature. Okay. Nature. Y'all know y'all got to get out of nature. I don't even have to read the car or tell y'all. Get your ass outside on some grass. Get your asses on some grass. All right, and be helpful and accept help. Make sure y'all are doing that. I was just telling a client yesterday that if you don't accept help or service into your life, like if you don't allow other people to help you and be of service to you, you're pretty much telling the universe that you don't deserve that. And you don't want those kind of partnerships. You're telling the universe you wanna be a vessel of service and help. So basically you wanna be a slave and you don't want reciprocity so make sure that y'all are making sure that y'all are accepting whatever help and assistance that people are giving y'all it might not be money it might not be uh like tangible stuff but sometimes it's just like an ear okay i just saw two three four sometimes it's just the ear to listen to you maybe so they just want to invite you over to be you know give you some um some company maybe they just want to have a good time with you and share good vibes with you. Allow that, okay? Some of y'all might be in hermit mode right now, but I feel like if you come out of hermit mode, then it'll be because you look at whatever you're doing to be like a profitable thing to do. Hanging out with friends is profitable. Uh, enjoying some good fucking vibes and scenery, that's profitable, okay? Allow Mother Earth to give to you and your guides and your friends and your community, right? Uh, especially when it's coming from the right place and it's like a reciprocity kind of thing to intention some of you guys need to focus your intention a lot more it says clear intentions create thoughtful actions how will I clearly focus my intention today I feel like you you guys know what you want you just need to see it a little bit more clearly I just heard too many options some of y'all have too many options y'all feel and y'all don't know some of y'all are getting tripped up by the unknown but the unknown is what it is for a reason it's gonna be unknown you as the co-creator as the manifester has to use that damn magic wand to create what you want because that's why it's the fucking unknown half of it spirit already got ready for you the other half is ready for you to to go ahead and, and and put the pieces where you wish them to go i know that may seem like a big responsibility for a lot of us virgos which makes sense because we overthink and we're so over analytical and we're like okay what if i choose this and it's like this just focus on what you intend like start small okay so if you know that you want to make more money uh and you know that you have crafts or work that you love to do that makes you money make the intention that okay i want my business to expand and grow uh by having double the clients in the next few weeks or i'm trying to sell double the amount of merchandise or get paid more for what i'm selling just have like your goals and intentions kind of set that's synonymous goals and intention i just saw triple fours uh, and create. Last but not least, Spirit literally just wants y'all to get out in nature, accept help, help yourselves and accept help, okay? Meditate yourselves, 
so that you can have that clear intention and then allow yourself to create allow the fire to just like do what it do it says using your talents to create is a gift uh to others so you doing what you came here to do virgo is a gift to the world okay i was just saying that uh i'm doing these videos for you guys and less for me like i don't care necessarily how i look or being on camera but i still give this and give myself regardless of how i look or being on camera or whatever because it's not for me it's for you guys it's me being creative and sharing my god given gifts all right it says how will i share my talents today so you guys have to share your greatness like don't hide it or harbor it or overthink it just do it okay why is help here why is help here please great spirit for virgo yeah um what it looks like is that you guys are worried about your actions like you're worried about your actions how your actions are coming off it's like some of y'all are worried way too much about how people are perceiving you or what you're doing to where you're not even allowing the flow to just happen, okay? You have to be more fearless uh, and logical about your de dealings. You should not be overthinking them. Just do it. That's what I just heard. Just do it. Okay, Nike Swish. All right, just do it. Accept help. Like, y'all, some of y'all out there overthinking about help. I get it though. I get it. I just heard discernment. Some of you guys have to work on y'all's discernment. You guys are accepting help. The thing about it is, no matter what people are giving you something for, okay, I, I feel like a lot of you Virgos have been through a lot of dark, like, situations. A lot of situations that backfired on you. Perhaps somebody offered you something or shared something with you and maybe they wanted a whole bunch of shit in return. Maybe, um they weren't genuine and maybe they wanted all of that stuff back that they gave you you know all these weird situations right the thing about giving is when you give you are giving to not accept something back and you need to make that apparent like if somebody's giving you something just ask them like do you expect anything back or do you want something if that's what you need to do but you need to voice that ask if you don't have good discernment just ask if a person says no then they say no they can't change it later and that's not your problem to deal with okay so stop overthinking help, okay? Um, maybe you're, because some of you guys are not clear on what your own intentions are, maybe that's why you're having such a hard time accepting people's intentions because you're doubting them because you're doubting yourself. It's like this internal battle and that's why Spirit wants you guys to get out in nature because some of y'all are overthinking all of these things, guys. You just need to relax, okay? Relax yourself. Do not worry. That's what I'm hearing from Spirit. All right, walk away from that. Yeah, I keep seeing the Six of Swords because that's that air energy that I think a lot of us Virgos need to adopt right now. Like, be in more of an air energy, like a logical space. Is it logically making sense for you to overthink simple interactions like give and take between relationships? No, logically that doesn't make sense. It causes strain on relationships and distrust and malice. And all these other things that just aren't even there. You're creating that because you're so... You're, the power of manifestation that you guys have right now is so potent. Whatever it is that you want, however you want to see it, it's going to happen just like that. So if you're assuming that people have negative intentions, that's exactly what's going to happen because you're creating that. It's a self-fulfilling prophecy, okay, guys? With this Six of Swords, you guys need to walk away. You guys did the, the, the trial and error. You learned important lessons you guys need to honor that and walk away from the behaviors and the habits that no longer serve you and that just logically makes sense why do you think you guys are getting all of these swords you guys have to use your left brain you have to be more logical i mean use your right brain too because you need to be more creative <laughs> but be logical as well okay so why is intention here for i'm gonna put these back for the cards Let's get intention to fill the cards. Why is intention here? Why is intention here? Please, great spirit. Woo. Yeah, y'all are too busy protecting y'all damn selves with this queen of swords. It's like some, some of y'all are in swords energy, but y'all are 
y'all in more of a defensive place. I feel like if y'all just went through something crazy or you're getting out of something crazy, a lot of you guys are in defense mode. I feel like a lot of Virgos might be on the fence about what decisions to make. If you, if your decisions align with harmony and self-love, those are the decisions to make. If you're dealing with people who don't support your self-love journey and your creativity and spiritual journey, the answer is quite simple. And I'm sorry to tell you, but it's simple. X that shit out. It might hurt. I just saw 1010. Look that number up because it's all about doing for self and putting self first. Some of you guys are just really struggling with actually loving yourself and putting yourself first. I get it. I'm a Virgo, sun, moon, Venus. I get it. It's so hard because we're born with the the urge to just serve and give to others with a pure heart. But a part of your self-mastery needs to come in where you're like, look, I have to put myself first or I'm going to live forever in, as an indentured servant. I'm going to live my life in servitude if I don't put myself first. That's how y'all need to look at it. All the people around you know this. Those people y'all dating, y'all don't want to get rid of. They know you're 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 their slave in their eyes. Those friends that don't mean you no know damn well, you're a slave in their fucking eyes. And this is what spirit is telling me to give you right at 11 minutes, meaning illumination. You're being illuminated. You're being enlightened to that reality. You're too busy protecting yourself because you're around the wrong people. I just saw 1111. You should not be any in any spaces where you feel the need to protect your damn self. Think about it. Why would you want to go there? Why would you want to go there, Virgo? And I'm giving you tough love because that's what I'm being told to give to you. And some of you guys, is y'all's y'all's guides are here. Y'all's ancestors and shit. They're like, tell them because I'm tired of it. They're not listening to me because they're not meditating. They're not in nature. They're not in their quiet place, their happy place. They're not there. They're not listening. They want you to end that with this death card at the bottom of the deck. So clear. They just want you to clear your intentions and stop defending yourself so damn much. If you feel like you need to defend yourself, maybe be by yourself a bit more. This card flew on the floor. I'm not a reader that doesn't take cards that fly on the floor, honey. It's a lot of floor, not that much desk space, right? And I work with flyouts, so that's just that, okay? The Seven of Cups. And the reason it probably fell on the floor is because that's how you're treating your purpose. I just saw 1212. All about following your purpose and being on the right path. You're a true north. You guys are treating your purpose your life purpose like fucking trash you're putting it last on your list and you're putting everybody else's shit above yours everyone else every time someone's gonna call you like yeah virgo like what should i do i just told one two three four what should i do virgo da, 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 da. like yeah I, I don't know what to do about my baby da, 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 da. you got another friend like oh what should i do about marketing i don't, I don't know i don't know uh i'm trying to start my business i don't know I don't know. Everybody's coming to you for everything and you're jumping at it like, yes, yes. Unless these people are on your fucking payroll, unless you're on their payroll, unless they're invoicing you, paying you, they need to be paying you. Oh my God. They need to be paying you, Virgo. And you might look at it like they're family and friends, but guess what? Family and friends would never, ever drain your damn energy for free, constantly knowing that they're looking at you being drained. That is detrimental to your growth. Real family and friends wouldn't do you like that. They really wouldn't, I promise. Guess what, Virgos? My friends pay me for my time and my services. Yeah, we have our little heart to heart on a regular basis when I when I'm venting to them and then we that we vent to each other and there's no hard feelings when we don't have the space, right? But my friends who know that they need a lot of my time and I may not have it, they pay me. They tip me because this is my work and they understand that and they respect that. Y'all need to work on that. You need to have clear intentions about what you want your path to be towards going toward your life purpose you guys need to clear up clear that up yeah walk away the star card i was just taking a lot of notes on the star card they told me to go ahead i can take the honey i'm leaving cards out what am i doing okay we're we gonna ignore the fact that i'm that i'm slipping a little bit when, <laughs> i don't know why all them cards was over there okay so let's just look at the uh notes for the star card Obviously, the card is about hope and faith and rejuvenating that faith and hope. But it's also about living a fulfilled life and an inspired life. Like, you're inspired by life. You're fulfilled by your life. 
It's about following your dreams and trusting in the universe, okay? It's about living in your expression of spirituality and being encouraged in all things that you do and realizing that the sorrows of the past are over. If y'all are not in that vibe, if y'all not being a star and y'all not being the light, you're, you're, not, you're not fulfilling your, your purpose, Virgo. And that's just that on that, okay? Light skin Keisha boy is big Virgo, okay? She's a Virgo, guys. Ignore, you know, I'm even gonna speak on the colorist name, honey. I, that's not the purpose of that. <laughs> Me mentioning her. But I, I guess I guess I'm I'm being true to myself when I just wanted y'all to know that I do not uphold colorism in any form. I don't even tolerate it. But hey, she popped up. <laughs> and I appreciate her for who she is outside of her artist's name and her artistry, right? But anyways, aside from that, y'all should be living so much happier lives. And y'all keep sacrificing yourself for people, and that's not going to get you anywhere. Create is pretty self-explanatory. Let me just see if there's anything else. I want to keep this message as short as possible so I can get on with my day. There's a lot of things I need to be doing right now. Yeah, I see the Six of Pentacles that I just peeped at. You guys need to allow people to be generous with you and only share when you have it. And, and really improve your relationships. I was just telling my client yesterday, the Six of Pentacles, when that comes out in your spread... That also means that you are either improving on your relationship or there's a need for you to improve on your relationships. You need better, and it keeps coming out. You need to improve on your relationship. You need better people around you. A lot of y'all, a lot of y'all, y'all on the fence about people who don't give a damn about you, who wouldn't straddle the fence for you, okay? And if they do straddle the fence for you, it's only because of what you can do for them and not them actually loving or respecting you. It's all about what you can do for them and where you can get them in life off your servitude solely. Y'all don't understand how valuable your, your, your shit is. It's valuable. Okay, let's say this all for the tarot. Thank you, spirit. All right, let's get y'all a love oracle card because y'all know it's not just about love. It's about partnerships in general. So let's see. What, what energy are they in right now? What energy are my Virgos in right now? What energy are they in? I don't even think they want you to focus on what energy y'all in. I just told y'all, but here it is. Okay, it says Lena Dunham. It says everyone forgets you except you. So basically, obviously, you are the person that has to ride for you the hardest. Because everyone for, will forget about you if you don't. Nobody finna talk about how Virgo was such a fucking service to them. Unless your mother Teresa, like, helping millions of people around the world and getting awards and shit for it and paid for it. You're not going to get any recognition for that. And your obituary, because this is where spirit is telling me to take it, because some of y'all don't understand unless I include death in the shit. But, like, your obituary will little be, literally be talking about how much you did for others. And that's that's great. That's that's cute. But if your kids don't have shit or if you don't have kids or you didn't leave no money behind or nothing behind, what is the, what's the point except for you to die and say she served? You ain't in the damn army. What the fuck? <laughs> and I'm talking to myself too. Like, come on, you know, for whoever just got offended. But, you know, it says it's okay to play hide and seek by yourself. So it's okay to play by yourself. It's okay to do your favorite things with yourself. You don't need people around you for that. Because when you need people around you for that, that's when you start surrounding yourself with not shit people. Okay? The last quote says, don't be afraid of standing on the shoulders of your parents. So some of you guys need to be better than your parents. Look at how your parents were. Some of you know that you want to be better than your parents, so be that. What energy do you want Spirit of Virgos to adopt right now? What energy do you want Virgos to adopt, Great Spirit? Don't be a martyr. I just heard that. Don't be a sacrificial lamb. You're not Jesus Christ. Yeah, you have a huge purpose and shit, but you ain't got to give yourself for it. You don't have to give yourself. You deserve things, Virgo. Shit. <laughs> You deserve so much. You need to know that. Your freedom, I, you you deserve, I don't even want to, you just deserve so much, you know, know that. All right, what energy do you, oh, 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 you know what? 
that makes so much sense. I just saw Jay-Z and Beyonce also. So some of y'all just need to get in your Beyonce energy. You already know what that entails, okay? Bad bitchery. <laughs> I saw this at the bottom of the deck when I first, uh, but before I shuffled for the second card. And I was going to take it. They told me to take it, but I didn't. But they made it come out anyway, okay? We got Elizabeth Taylor, okay? We got Liz, okay? The first quote says, don't run so fast that you can't be caught. So y'all need balance. It's like either y'all are for people, like helping people, or y'all just totally selfish and not. And that's very confusing for people. You guys got to maintain some balance and some temperance. So, you know, slow down. Let it be an easygoing transition because if you just, you know, quit cold turkey it, it's fine. It's, it's beneficial to you. But what lesson did you learn if you didn't adopt some type of temperance? You know, the next quote says you can be a big fan of marriage. Just be an even bigger fan of diamonds. So don't just be so hung up on who wants to marry you and who who is choosing you to be a part of your life. You get to choose too, Virgo. I just saw two zero three four. OK, steps in the right direction. OK, and constantly doing that. OK, period. But it's not just about who's going to wed you, who's going to commit themselves to you and adopt you into the life. Virgo, let me keep it real with you. Let me keep it a buck. Let me keep it a bean. All right. There's so many people that want you to be a part of their life. If you don't see your self-worth, it's for it's for their own personal gain, their own selfishness. If you see your self-worth is because they know they got a bad mother effer by their side. OK, but you need to be not just for attachment and marriage and things like that you need to be for the diamonds and diamonds are just like more so just abundance and luxury you deserve shit you don't just need to be a partner to somebody just to say you're that you some of you guys find your most value in somebody else just valuing valuing having you around people valuing you it is like you care too much about how people feel about you but what about how you feel about yourself? What do you feel like you deserve? You know, the last quote says, true friends last longer than marriage. How many, how many times you marry, however many times you marry. So, you know, when, when all the, the relationship and the love and the cute, mm, when that's all said and done, no matter how many times you do it, you're going to have your soul tribe. So you guys need to work on cultivating that. Okay. That's why I think you guys really need temperance right now. Okay. Because you guys are just going to cut off everybody and just do your own thing. And you're, you know, if you're hurting the people who are shitty towards you, fuck them. But if you're hurting the people who actually love you, but you didn't put up any boundaries with them and they didn't know, you're going to lose good friends. You're going to lose soul tribe, okay? So work on y'all's platonic relationship and it's going to lead to whatever else that you want. That's what Spirit wants you to know. Might have to watch this again in slow motion. I'm just playing. But no, seriously, like really take this in. This feels like a super important message. That's why it's so long. So thank you guys. I love you guys. I am doing personal. So hit your girl up. Okay. Uh, thank you for everybody who's been taking advantage of that. Okay. Cause y'all have really been coming through getting the reads and tipping well. So I appreciate that. Also, oh my God, big announcement. I will be selling products soon. So if you guys are interested in any health teas, like super health teas, not just like detox and things, but like lung detox teas uh, that are for like smokers and people with uh, bronchitis, people who live in big cities with poor air quality, um, things like that. I have a, a antiviral kind of um, a tea uh, and also uh, candles too, uh, very in like very magical manifestation, beautiful, amazing candles. I can't wait to show you all this stuff. Teas are self-explanatory, but the candles are gonna be something special. So if you guys are introduced, uh, intro that, <laughs> if y'all are interested in any of that, y'all know where to find me. It's gonna be right in the description box. As I said, I love you guys, and I'll see you later. Peace.